All right, guys, good morning. It is Monday. Um, we have a great workout for you today just to get into the Monday, start the week well. All right, get a good sweat on today. All right, so we'll start with all right, our warm up today, guys. Before we do our warm up, though, all right, we're actually going to warm up our wrists because we've got a lot of burpees coming up. All right, so first thing on the wrist, guys, what we need to do, we're going to go fingers facing forward. We're just going to go for five pulses. Just keeping the fingertips down, okay, the arms straight. We're just trying to get the shoulders over the fingertips for five reps, okay? So leaning that weight over the fingertips. Then we're gonna change the hands to facing left and right. Okay, we're gonna go 10 reps, which is five on each. Just alternating, again, we're just swapping the weight from the left to the right, all right? Just flexing through those forearms as well. From that side angle, all right, we're gonna face them back. So pushing our forearms forward, our elbow pits forward. All right, now we're gonna be leaning back our weight. Okay, so shoulders back towards the fingertips and knees. All right, but we're looking to keep the palm of our hand down for another five reps. Okay, to finish off the round of two, so we're gonna do this twice through. All right, we're gonna to go to the back of the hands. Okay, this one's a little bit more intense. So start with a bend in the elbows, and then we're just gonna push away. Okay, and then we're just gonna go for five, rotations clockwise and then five anti-clockwise all right it's important not to think about putting too much weight through these wrists all right so really take your time with this one just work out where you feel a little bit stiff okay so we can do that twice through so be fingers facing forward fingers facing out to the sides fingers facing back and then backs of the hands all right anytime you need to guys just wrist roll them off okay even just get a little bit of flexion through that forearm after you finish with the wrist, guys, we'll start with the wrist. We're going to go into our warm up today. Okay, we're going to put the clock on for five minutes and do a slow arm wrap off. Okay, we're going to do nine push ups, guys. We're going to do three narrow, three normal, and then three wide. All right, if you need to, any time during the nine push ups, drop to your knees. That's absolutely fine, especially with the wide ones. Okay, so the push up position, if you're going off your toes, we're going to go for three reps, close grip. Okay, so that's hands just in the middle. Okay, you can also go to the um, knees for this one, like I said, just let the chest and hips come through. All right, after three narrow, we're gonna go to three normal. So this is hands just underneath the shoulders. Keep those elbows tucked in, facing back. And then we've got three wide, all right? So if you can't support yourself, okay, on the toes, just go to that wide stance with the hands. Okay, elbows will flare out a little bit. Okay, but we wanna th see if we can think about keeping them facing back towards our heels. Okay, so nine push-ups, three narrow, three normal, three wide. Okay, when we've done that, we're going to lie down on the floor on our yoga mats. Okay, we're going to reach out with our arms and our legs extended, and we're going to go for a 20-second arch hold. Okay, so we're looking to push our abs, okay, into the floor, reaching with the arms extended, okay, and the feet extended at the back. That'll be for 20 seconds, guys. And then just to finish off, all right, we're going to get into a little bit of squat movement, okay? So we're going to go around the clock. We're going to do with the right leg a lunge forward, okay? Then we're going to go for a curtsy squat behind with the right leg, okay? Back up to a narrow squat, and then, and then over to a Cossack squat, okay? So four positions. I'll go through it with the left leg again. Lunge, curtsy, narrow, Okay, and then Cossack for your lateral lunge. Okay, again, like the push-ups, we're gonna do three on the right, three on the left, guys, all right? And that total warm-up will be for five minutes of, on the clock. All right, guys, that was gonna bring us into our three-part workout today, okay? Wad one, wad three are the same, okay? We have a two-minute rest in between. So we're gonna start with four minutes, okay, of as many burpees as you can in those four minutes. Okay, we want to pick a pace, maybe thinking about how many reps you could do in a minute, okay, and maybe push towards the end. So if you're doing 10 reps, okay, that'll be a good idea to get 40 reps done in that four minutes, so going 10 every minute, okay? Or you could think about doing 10 every minute, and then that last minute, squeezing a few more out, so you might end up with 42 or 43. With the burpees then, guys, just think about kicking your feet a little bit wider at the back, okay, as you jump up, feet land flat, okay, you're going to jump and clap, all right? If you haven't got the space to jump above you, okay, or you don't want to annoy anybody underneath you, if you're in a flat, okay, just go for a down up, which is just gonna be a step up, okay? 
constant pace, keep an eye on the clock, okay? Coach on the morning or coach on the evening will give you a shout every minute, okay? And it'll give you a really good push on towards the end. Make a note of that score, okay? We're gonna take a two minutes rest, wad two, okay? We're gonna go now five rounds. Each round is gonna be 90 seconds of work, okay? And then we get 30 seconds of rest before we start it again, okay? In the 90 seconds then, guys, we're gonna go for 15 thrusters. You can use whatever object you want, whether it's weights in either hand, a barbell, okay, or just a single weight, okay? So I'm just gonna show you this kettlebell. 15 reps, you can break it up however you want. So you might do eight on the right, and then switch it to do seven on the left. There's your 15 reps. So with the thruster, guys, whether you're up in the front rack, the kettlebell, or the, uh, or the barbell, okay, or the weights sat up on your shoulder, the dumbbell, okay, we're gonna hit that full squat depth. As we come out, okay, we're gonna press the weight over our head nice and straight. This is our recovery position. So this is where we wanna breathe at the top of the rep, okay? Get that weight back to your front rack before you start squatting, okay? Driving out at the bottom, okay? Get that weight off you at the top. So what we don't wanna do is start squatting too early, okay? And we don't wanna start pressing too early, okay? Once you've done your 15 thrusters, okay? You're gonna get into as many reps as you can or toes to bar, if, you have, if you're lucky enough to have a bar, okay, or V-ups. Three options end with the V-ups as always, okay, so if you're not doing the full V-up, the hollow position, all right, you can go for the single leg V-up, which is a great option, keep the arms and legs straight as you do the reps, or you can go for that hollow to tuck position, okay? As many reps as you can, up until the time has run out, the 90 seconds, we're gonna stop, reset, 30 seconds rest, get back to those thrusters, okay? Each round, you're just gonna score the V-ups, the toes to bar, or whichever version of the V-ups you're gonna be using. Two minute rest again, and then WOD three is exactly the same as WOD one. We're gonna do the four minutes of burpees. So thinking about your first round, okay, of the four minute of burpees, you're gonna try and match that, maybe even beat it by one or two, all right, just to get the best score in today. Great start to a Monday, like I said. Nice chance to get sweaty. Not too much to think about. Just hard work, guys. Enjoy. All right, get your scores in Wadify as well. Okay, and I'll see you in the week.